Have you ever wondered what really happens to your prostate if you masturbate every day? It's a question a lot of men think about, but rarely ask out loud. I'm Dr. Emma Blake, urology and men's health expert. And today, we're going to talk openly about the science of ejaculation, prostate health, and what actually changes in your body as you age. Because for many men, the prostate is this mysterious little gland we ignore until it starts causing problems. But here's the truth. Ignoring your health out of embarrassment is one of the worst things you can do for your long-term quality of life. So today, we're breaking the silence and replacing fear with facts. You'll learn exactly what the prostate is, what it does, and how it changes after the age of 40. We'll also talk about what the research says about masturbation and prostate cancer risk. And I'll give you four clear practical steps to protect your prostate for life. Let's start with the basics. What is the prostate? It's a walnut-sized gland that sits just below the bladder and wraps around the urethra, the tube that carries urine out of your body. Its job? To produce the fluid that nourishes and transports sperm. For most of your early adult life, it stays quiet. But after age 40, things begin to change. The prostate naturally grows with age, a process called benign prostatic hyperplasia or BPH. This growth isn't cancer, but it can lead to some frustrating symptoms. A weak urinary stream, difficulty starting, waking up at night to pee, or the constant feeling that your bladder's never quite empty. Sound familiar? You're not alone. Now let's answer the big question. Is frequent ejaculation, whether from masturbation or sex, good or bad for your prostate? The science says it may actually help. A major study published in the journal European Urology followed thousands of men for nearly two decades. The researchers found that men who ejaculated 21 times or more per month had a significantly lower risk of developing prostate cancer than those who ejaculated only four to seven times per month. The leading theory is something called the prostate flushing hypothesis. Each ejaculation helps clear out old prostate fluid, dead cells, and potentially harmful compounds that might otherwise build up and lead to inflammation or abnormal cell changes. It's like flushing out the pipes to keep them clean and working properly. But, and this is important, frequent ejaculation is not a magic solution. You can't eat poorly, avoid exercise, and skip checkups thinking that masturbation alone will protect your prostate. It's one helpful habit, but it has to be part of a bigger picture. So let's talk about that picture. Specifically, the three major changes your prostate goes through after age 40. First, enlargement and fluid retention. As the prostate grows, it can become less efficient at expelling its own fluid. That can lead to pressure, discomfort, and chronic low-grade inflammation, which is a major driver of many health problems, not just in the prostate, but throughout the body. Second, hormonal shifts. As men age, testosterone naturally declines. But at the same time, the body converts more testosterone into DHT, dihydrotestosterone, a more potent form of the hormone that stimulates prostate cell growth. High DHT levels contribute directly to prostate enlargement. And third, increased risk of cellular abnormalities. Your body is constantly renewing itself, replacing old cells with new ones. But the older you get, the more chances there are for mistakes in that process. Over time, the risk of abnormal cells developing in the prostate rises, especially when combined with inflammation and hormonal changes. This is why regular screenings are so important. Prostate cancer is most treatable when caught early. Now, before we get to the four pillar action plan, I want to share something that could give your prostate and overall health an extra layer of support. If you're looking for a natural, science-supported way to protect your prostate, maintain urinary health, and reduce inflammation, this targeted supplement blend brings together six powerful ingredients that work with your body, not against it. This science-backed supplement combining saw palmetto, pygium, green tea, cat's claw, raspberry, and soursop helps maintain urinary health, reduce inflammation, and boost immunity, 
all in one daily dose. Feel stronger, age better, and protect what matters. You can find the link in the description and pinned comments if you would like to try it now. Now, let's focus on what we do know works and what you can start doing today to protect your prostate. Here's your four pillar action plan for lifelong prostate health. Pillar one, annual medical checkups. Starting at age 40, or earlier if you have a family history, see your urologist once a year. That includes two critical exams, the PSA blood test, which measures prostate-specific antigen, and the digital rectal exam. I know the rectal exam gets a bad rap, but it takes 15 seconds and could save your life. Your health is more important than your pride. Pillar two, an anti-inflammatory diet. The foods you eat directly affect your hormones and inflammation levels. Cut back on red meat, processed foods, fried foods, and sugar. Instead, load up on vegetables, berries, leafy greens, whole grains, and healthy fats like olive oil, avocados, and nuts. And here's a secret weapon, tomatoes. Tomatoes contain lycopene, a powerful antioxidant shown in numerous studies to protect the prostate. And a bonus tip, lycopene is better absorbed when tomatoes are cooked. So tomato sauce, tomato paste, and even ketchup can help support your prostate. Pillar three, regular physical activity. You don't have to become a triathlete. Just aim for 30 minutes of moderate movement most days of the week. Brisk walking, light strength training, or cycling are all excellent. And don't forget about Kegel exercises. Yes, men can do them too. They strengthen your pelvic floor, support the prostate, and improve urinary control. And you can do them anytime, anywhere. Pillar four, hydration. Simple, but crucial. Drink enough water throughout the day to keep your urinary system running smoothly and to flush out waste. Around two to three liters a day is a good target for most men. To sum it all up, caring for your prostate isn't awkward or embarrassing. It's essential. You don't have to wait until something goes wrong. By taking action now, through movement, nutrition, hydration, and regular checkups, you give yourself the best chance at staying healthy and sexually confident well into your later years. So if this video helped you, please do two things. First, hit the like button and subscribe for more science-backed men's health advice. No fluff, no judgment. Second, share this video with someone who needs to hear it. And in the comments below, let me know. What's one healthy habit you're starting this week to support your prostate? Your health is your responsibility and taking action is one of the most powerful things you can do. Take care of yourself because you are absolutely worth it.